After chicken lo mein became one of our favorites, we couldn't wait to try this with a different protein. Today's choice, top sirloin. If you want to see our take on this beef lo mein, then stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall, Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the cooks that we do here on the Blackstone Griddle. We love to come out here and cook. It's almost summertime or it's I early summer. I We're getting there. Pointed back that way in the Blackstone Griddle. It's yeah, Brett's cooking in the way. pool apparently. <laughs> Brett will end up in a pool at 100,000 subscribers. So let's Help us get us there, and also, well, give they, they already are helping us. They're they, here. They are, and, and you can help us even more by giving a thumbs up on this video. It really helps us, and we appreciate you doing that. But Brett, we did chicken lo mein last I year. Say why else are we doing this? Well, that's at the end, buddy. <laughs> Brett's already done with the cook, and we haven't even started. I'm excited for this. Cook. But last year we did the chicken lo mein. And then that was one of the featured videos used when we became YouTube's Creators on the Rise yep. in August, which was a total honor. And that one was one of my favorites at the time. In fact, I've done that a couple times since for my uh, family yep, have because I, we have love I. it we so much. We actually did it for our whole family at Christmas time. We did, and it was so it was a hit. divine. It was a hit. Yeah. It was a total hit, and it's always a hit. We wanted to do this one with beef. Brett, let's go ahead and get to the groceries. What are yeah, we looking at? Super excited. We'll just kind of go through some of them. And today we are using udon noodles as the noodle. You can see the top sirloin right here. We already have it cubed up. We've got baby bok choy we're going to be using. We've got julienne carrots. This water chestnuts is another yeah. one that we're adding this time. We're really excited about it. You see the ginger and garlic here. And then this sauce right here is absolutely amazing. We're going to add the cornstarch to it right before we put it on. And the cornstarch will actually Act, activate and make it kind of like a great like a slurry type Correct. and it is so good and we're super excited for this one like i said we've done this one i can't wait to try this and go ahead and get going i asked dibs to do this adam cook. did call dibs on this, this anytime one, so. we do these asian cooks there's just they're so fun and there's so much to them i love yeah. doing these cooks we're gonna go ahead and get the griddle on and let's get set up here okay so this has been on for a good 10 minutes let's go ahead and probe this by the way so we do have the griddle on and if you watch us oh we left those on high heat, hey, cause which we is okay, because we just turned these on a little. I said 10 minutes. It's been five minutes. Three, Got the timer. Uh, and it is starting to get hot. In fact, I can tell you where it's at right now. So we've got our infrared. We're looking about 340, 344. And this is my hot zone. Now, even at medium low, give this another 10 minutes. This will be mid 400. But that's about where we're going to cook. So I've got it turned down to medium low. Since it's already at 340, I'm going to go ahead and get some oil going here. The neighbors are having a blast, by the way. You can hear that in the background. Good for them, though, I, by I, the way. I love I, it. I'm kind of tempted to leave here. To go. You see <laughs> that big, huge, yes, I do. It's a huge, one of those big blow up water slides. Man. For it's sure. Like, it's down the hill and it's poking up above the houses. That's how big it is. <laughs> well, the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna lay a little bit of oil and then I'm gonna get the ginger and garlic going, but I'm gonna let it brown just a little bit because browning just a little bit will give it some good flavor. Then we'll get the steak on it. If we wait too long, it'll burn and then that's gonna make the whole dish taste nasty. Now. Right. The one that I am super excited for is the water chestnuts. Now, lo mein doesn't always call for water chestnuts. Lo mein, though, is actually kind of the whole idea that whatever you have left in the kitchen, in, in the it, refrigerator, it, you're yeah, going to throw in, in the, this. Yeah, in the, in the pantry, whatever, you just kind of throw down and cook. Right, but I used I had water chestnuts in this uh, Asian dish I used to get all the time. And I told Brett, I said, they absorb the flavor so much, I can only imagine them absorbing this beef stock based and lo mein sauce. They create an wait. amazing crunch. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and let's get some oil down here. Now I'm going to go ahead and let's get this. All right, there we go. Oh man, look at that. See, that's already hot. Oh, and the ginger. That is going to add such so, a smell. Now, such this an aromatic. This called for about four teaspoons of ginger. I promise you, I added more. <laughs> Brett loves ginger. I do too, actually. It makes it already, this smell is unreal. Brett, you want to get me that meat ready to go? That ground, there, that. <laughs> Ground beef. I almost call this ground beef. Uh, you can this is sirloin. Okay, so uh, Brett, I don't want this to burn. Here okay, I'm coming in. Okay, he's coming in hot. So that's and by the way, what's browning? What's already browned here is the uh, garlic. So the garlic was browning. I had said it needs to brown and not burn, and it was the garlic, and not the ginger. The garlic will brown, but anyway. So now we're just going to let this cook brown this up and as soon as the steak is ready the sirloin yeah yeah actually right about the time when it's just about brown is when we're gonna start throwing in i'm gonna start with the baby bok choy the carrots and the water chestnuts right and then as those go um and start to marry 
I'm gonna get the noodles ready. Now, so this is just, we are gonna get a little bit of a sear on some of this. In fact, I shouldn't be moving this around. The only reason I moved it around so much was to get that garlic and that ginger mixed in. Otherwise, we're gonna end up with burnt garlic. So now that it's moved, I wanna let it sit just a little bit, get a slight sear. It's not gonna be much on this. And then we're gonna move on. But it smells amazing. It does. It smells so it's the ginger. In fact, I don't even get a, a smell of the garlic. scent of the garlic because the ginger is so strong, delicious. The ginger is strong with this one. Look, see, it is. so we're getting some coloring on that. All right, so I'm gonna start throwing. Yeah, let's start the, getting this. Uh, yeah. The vegetables. Hold up. Let me get a little bit of oil down right here. Go ahead and put the bok choy right there. It can kind of go on too. So. Yep. And this bok choy is so fresh tasting yes. in this dish. That's why we really like it. I had never had bok choy before we did this dish. It's really good, really good. Here comes the carrots. Okay. In fact, you could probably just go ahead. Here's what I'd like to do a little different if that's okay. Go ahead and put the water chestnuts right there. Here comes water chestnut the thing. <laughs> I presume. I want to let those cook just a little bit. Just get a little flavor on those. There we go, now bring this in. Now all this is going to really just strike home when we get that sauce. Oh man, that, that looks, it looks like you're having a good time. Oh dude, I love doing this. This is why I asked to do it. I love doing these And cooks. Adam went back to the OG, the Blackstone, the first, it's kit that he bought, the uh, the big long <laughs> spatches. I love them. And by the way, we have so many different spatulas for these Asian dishes because they're lightweight and there's constant movement. It is actually nice to have these lightweight ones. So we do have this griddle kit actually in our in the link in a link in the description below this video. Go ahead and check it out. We uh, absolutely love this kit and we yep. use it all the time. In fact, we have the bottles from it still and the my scraper, the scraper I use for every single cook. Yep. This has been amazing. Uh, yep, go ahead and let's get this noodles in. We got two of these. Now we did some cheat. We had these from Frozen. Oh, whoops. Yeah, whenever I do these cooks, I'll just I'll just go to Publix and they have them right there in the in the international section where the yep. Asian uh, all the Asian products are, and they have I just get them pre-packaged. They're already pre-cooked, so you just got to throw them on. Right. Last time when we did it, we made the noodles ahead of time, and uh, this just saves that process. The flavor is going to be the same. So now in the sauce, Adam will have obviously the recipe listed below. But it's got things like uh, soy sauce, oyster sauce, oh, 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 um, man. sesame uh, oil, sesame. Oh, what did I say? Yeah. What I, oh, oyster. soy sauce. Yeah. Uh, sesame oil and oyster sauce. And then I'm adding starch, right, cornstarch to it right now. Um, I'm going to stir it up and add it in. This Once this activates with this, it's going to start thickening up and making it very uh, like a gravy. Nice. Or as Adam says, a slurry. A slurry. Okay, so I'm gonna lower the heat all the way down. The meat is cooked through. We're just leaving this warm while Brett's getting that sauce ready. We're gonna toss it in here and then we're gonna be ready to go and build this thing. Here we go. All right, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I was born ready. Here we go. This is my favorite part. That sauce makes such a difference. And that stuff is legit. Look at just change the color of the dish. That coloring is flavoring. Oh, Brett, that smells so good. All right, Brett, we're just gonna mix this up a little bit. We don't have our helpers out today, so Brett, though, I think we're ready for some B-roll, dude. <laughs> Let's do this.
there it is. And I think the neighborhood kids are cheering for us. Yes, I show. agree. You hear if, them back? If they're not, cheering? then we're going to believe that they are. Right. But if they're not cheering for us, I am. I am too. This because is so good. It, it smells amazing. We're confident with this. We've made it before with the chicken and so right. that with the beef. And I'll tell you, as I mix the sauce, I always taste it as I'm going to make sure it's right. This I like a little better because I with like the beef, beef stock. Broth. Yeah, beef stock a little better than than chicken stock. So right, I'm bringing Brett back into the frame because he likes to wander. I don't know. If, I don't know if you guys knew. There's Brett a rocks. magnet over here, and it Brett pulls rocks. Me. And he's, yes, he's a rock and roller, I'm a but uh, he tends to rock off camera sometimes. So I'm trying to keep him on there. But I was just gonna say, you know, what's crazy about this? It smells very, very similar to the the chicken lo mein. Yes, it does. But I can smell the sirloin, so I'm super excited yes. for that. Like we say, it can look amazing. Um, yeah, this looks uh, ex well exactly like we <sighs> thought it would. I would. I get this at a restaurant. It can smell amazing. Yeah, did we, we talk about, about the that smell? I think once or twice. If, if we didn't, didn't, it does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, oh, I'm getting a water chest. That. That. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing, man. Okay, and do some oh, of the noodles. I got some of the bok choy, everything. There we go. Oh, man. Okay. Then this was all for naught. Cheers. I'll eat to that. My, My brother. The mm. water chestnut. What it's, great. it's amazing. Oh. That crisp, that crunch. It's like. And I always say it's got a crunch of an apple, but it's super fresh. And the sirloin, we didn't salt and pepper it mm -hmm. like we normally do when we're doing like a steak. Mm -hmm. But it's just absorbed that sauce. So much flavor it's in so it. So tender. It's still pink in the middle, so it's perfect. Mm. There's a banger, complete mm -hmm. banger. I'm putting this down. Now between the bok choy and those water chestnuts, when you get that crisp, oh. Yeah, and like you said, the water chestnuts, they absorb that juice, mm, hold that on, go put it down. sauce so wonderfully, and they maintain the crunchiness that you love in a water chestnut. We do have a mail time segment. We forgot to mention at the beginning of this video. We do. Brett, go grab the box. All right. Now, we knew this package was coming. Leroy Miller reached out to us and asked us if we had had the wok, spatula, and ladle set from Blackstone. He said they're no longer available at Blackstone, and I knew that because I had seen it and saw that it was out, and I said, let me do some research to see if I can find them. He said, don't worry, I've actually got some. I'd like to send one to you. Leroy, we are so excited for this, so thank you. We're gonna break into it, even though we already know what it is. And, whoa, here, you hold that. Oh, man, I am super stoked about these, dude. These are oh. big. They are. Well, there they are. These are indeed the Blackstone and they, I don't know if they sell these or they're bringing them back, but I am so excited to have that. Look at that ladle. This, this has ladle, some ladle, 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 ladle. Some integrity, Scott. <laughs> Touche. They do. Dude. Those have some weight to them. We absolutely love those. And Leroy, we will definitely find those, a use. Oh, we will put these to use for sure. In we fact, will. we were just recently talking about doing a chili even in the fall or upcoming man that ladle 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 is gonna <laughs> come in. is that patrick star <laughs> <laughs> have you not seen that thing i probably have oh my gosh absolutely love the ladle that thing does have some way to it on the ladle 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 we can't tell you how much we appreciate we love getting goodies and tools here's the funny thing about them we keep getting them and we always find uses for them so leroy thank you so much and also real quick we did want to mention if you hadn't had a chance, go ahead and check in the description below this video for a link to our merchandise store where we have so many of the goodies that we're so proud of and honored to have and to be a part of Digital Promotions who works with Crossroads Missions who does so many remarkable things, not only for their community, not only for our country, but around the world. They have so many service projects that they're working on. For more information about that, check in the link in the description below. And Brett, we also have a Patreon page. Yeah, in fact, a big shout out to our Griddle Entourage, which are our Patreon. So more information on that is uh, down below as well. Right. Thank you so much to our Griddle Entourage for the love and support you give us. We couldn't do all this without your support, and we truly do thank you so much. But Brett... Aside from coming to make this banger, banger, this beef lo mein, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. And great along. along. Oh, I didn't great even have a ladle. Oh, well. Oh.